Hi, I'm Ollie from Fit Climb, and today I'm going to show you some strength training exercises you can do in a park or even at home where you don't need a gym membership to accomplish. This will add to your aerobic fitness when you're getting ready for mountaineering, backpacking, or even hiking. Generally, your core and lower body are what you use most in supporting your backpack and body weight in mountaineering and hiking. So that's what I'm going to focus on most today. For a beginner, starting off, you typically need a flat, smooth bench. Realize if it's wet outside, wood can be really slippery and dangerous. So your bench should be four to six inches off the ground when starting off for a beginner. As you advance, you can increase it to 10 to 12 inches. For glacier mountaineering or hiking up hills, step ups are going to develop your quadriceps, glutes, and hip muscles. The technique is to just place one foot on a raised platform about four to six inches high to start off and then working up to one to two feet. Once on a step, balance briefly on one leg and then slowly lower yourself down. Side step ups are a variation of the step up. The two we show here improve your balance, agility, quads, and glutes. Step downs help you control your gravity and balance on your way down the mountain, which is really important you want to make sure you pause at the bottom of your step. You can do calf raises with a partner or holding on to some type of bar. The three exercises for your core are the boat, crunches, and plank. For boat, you want to make sure you have a nice V, keeping your legs and back straight, looking forward with both arms out to the side. Try and hold this for 30 seconds to one minute. When you're doing crunches, do them side to side alternating between your elbows touch and the opposite knee. Try to remember not to pull on your neck and keep your neck fairly straight. For plank, make your back straight with both elbows down and looking forward. Squat jump. Develop your quads, hamstrings, and glutes. Start off in a sitting position, bend your knees 90 degrees, and then jump forward fully extending with pauses in between, landing gently. For push-ups, keep a straight back, hands about shoulder width apart, fully extend downward and slowly come up looking forward. Mountain climbers are a good exercise for working both your core and your legs. Skip step forward and back, keeping a straight back and remember not to fully extend if you're using a platform so you don't hit your knees. Balance exercises are important in mountaineering. A lot of times in hiking or mountaineering, you're stepping from rock to rock, log to log, and you want to make sure you don't fall, especially at the edge of crevasses or cliff sides. Starting your balance exercises, you start off low, holding on to something. As you progress to logs, make sure you have a dry surface so you don't injure yourself before a climb. As you do many of these exercises, especially on the step ups and step downs, you can incorporate doing them with water bottles. You don't want to add too much weight to your pack to avoid injury. Running is a good cardio exercise for your aerobic training. Remember, you can vary it by running up and down hills, bleachers, out in parks, or even trail running. Remember to stretch and warm up before your workout and stretch and cool down after your workout. And there's no better way to get in shape for hiking or mountaineering than to actually hike or mountaineer. So on weekends, try and get out, vary your workout. I'll catch you on the trail.